Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the Azure Databricks cluster types. There are two cluster types in Azure Databricks, All Purpose Compute and Job Compute. We will discuss these two computes by comparing them. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel. Here I am continuously sharing content related to data engineering and Databricks. Let us understand the Azure Databricks cluster types. Here we have two Databricks cluster types, All Purpose Cluster and Job Cluster. We will compare these two cluster types by feature. All Purpose Cluster type can be created manually using Databricks User Interface, CLI or REST API. And the Job Cluster is created automatically when a job is scheduled, typically using Databricks Job Scheduler. Next feature is Termination. The all-purpose cluster is terminated manually. That means user must shut down the cluster when it is no longer needed. However, it can be restarted if required. The job cluster is terminated automatically once the job finishes, which helps in optimizing the resource usage. Next feature is scalability. In all-purpose cluster, manual scaling is possible. That means user can add or remove the resources to adjust the cluster size based on the workload needs, whereas the job cluster is not scalable. The resources are predefined here for the duration of the job and scaling must be done in advanced if required. Then the next feature is cost. All purpose cluster may incur idle charges if the cluster is running but not being used. As this cluster is managed manually, so users need to terminate this cluster when idle. Whereas the job clusters are in lower cost as they are created on demand for the duration of the job and they are terminated once the job is done which reduces the time and charges. Next feature is use case. The all purpose cluster is used for interactive analysis and collaboration such as data exploration and model development where multiple users may access the cluster. Whereas the job cluster is best for scheduled jobs or batch processing. Here the predefined tasks like data pipelines are executed without user interaction. Number of users. In all purpose cluster, multiple users can collaborate simultaneously, making it ideal for the team based tasks. Whereas the job cluster is designed for a single job execution. That means it is optimized for one process at a time. Let us see the examples. The all-purpose cluster is used in data exploration and model development which require an interactive environment. Whereas the job cluster is commonly used for data pipeline execution or report generation which can be automated and require no manual interaction. In summary, we can say that the all-purpose clusters are more flexible and interactive but they require manual management and can result in higher cost if not managed efficiently. Whereas job clusters are more cost effective for single automated task as they automatically created and terminated for each job. However, the job clusters are less flexible since they don't allow for interactive or collaborative use. So we can use each cluster type for different needs depending on the task is collaborative or job specific and automated. So this is all about the Azure Databricks cluster types. Let us move towards the Azure portal and see these two cluster types. Here I am on the Azure portal. Go to Azure Databricks service. This is the workspace that we created Databricks-WS. Launch the workspace. Then go to compute. And here you can see the Databricks cluster types, all purpose compute and job compute. From here we can create the all purpose compute by clicking on create compute tab. Whereas the job compute is created for a specific task, we cannot create this manually. So this is all about the Azure Databricks types. I'll see you in the next video.